Hello. Hope you guys had a great weekend. And a good Halloween night last night for all the one, uh, all of you who have littles or grandkids, or maybe you handed out candy. <laughs> oh, it's freezing tonight. I don't know. Hi, Carolyn. Hi, Deborah. Ooh, hi, Corey. <laughs> Tina. I'm super tired tonight. Oh my goodness. I'm doing some sharing. So I'm really excited to show you a few projects I've been working on and one kit that's available in the store. Hi, Sue. I hope that you guys were able to snag a spot for Lucy 4. I already know most of what we're doing. Um, I've got my project underway. So I'm super excited about that. And I know you guys will just love it. Um, hi, Irene, Kelly, Linda, Dale. The kittens are very busy tonight, so I'm sure one of them might make an appearance. <laughs> Not too sure. Hi, Deborah. I need to catch up on the video from last night. I did not catch all the new products that came in and I haven't really been at, I think I was at the store this week, but I can't remember looking at new things. <laughs> um, when Heather hasn't been at the store, usually if Heather's at the store and I go there, I, I'm allowed to sneak looks at things in boxes, but if it's just Dan, I'm, I don't usually look. <laughs> oh, I'm glad that you made it into Lucy 4, Carolyn. Hi, Joni. Yes, Linda, I have the kittens. I have the two kittens are kind of busy and rowdy tonight. I'm glad you got in too, Kelly. I know there's spots left, so make sure that you let all your friends know. It's super fun, super awesome. Get together and do it all in one house or whatever. I, uh, I think that would be super fun if, if a couple of you or, you know, five of you got together and were able to do it and and be together while you crafted. Hi Linda. Okay, so tonight I'm going to share um a project. Oh Sharon, not related. Do you have instructions on my spook folio? I don't think so. you'll have to uh, message Heather and Dan about that, Sharon. I'm not sure. I sent everything to them. So if there's no kits left, I'm not sure. Um, if you could just look at the video and watch or just send them a message. Oh, good. Lori, I'm glad that you were able to register. Oh, Linda, I got Finn two weeks ago. He's adorable. <laughs> He's a little tuxedo cat. If he comes in, I'll show you him. They're a little bit busy tonight, though. <laughs> um, so I don't know if you guys have tried making tunnel cards before. I'm just going to stand up so you can hear me better. Whoops. Um, oh yeah, welcome to ABC Mondays with Megan. I don't know if you guys have tried making tunnel cards before, but Photoplay has this value pack. It's, I don't know, if the, it's $10 and it comes with enough to make six cards and of course the instructions to make them as well. They're super fun, super easy. Um, you just need a die to die cut them so that makes the tunnel portion a nesting die. I will show you what I've come up with. Um, this is with the farmhouse, I think it's, oh my gosh, I'm going to forget the name, but farmhouse kitchen. I will send or post a link above, um, to this exact kit. So I've done up a project kit. It comes with everything you need to make these cards, um, twine, everything. And there's $17.99 for the kit to make six cards. So I'll just go through the cards and show them to you. They're super cute. It is in the online store right now, so if you did look up Tunnel Card um, in the search bar, it would come up. It's the first thing that comes up right now, for me anyways. Um, this one's super cute. I just love, I love these Tunnel Cards. They're so fun and easy. So this one just has all of these little pieces in here. Um, you can totally just write your little um, 
letter or note on the left side of the card and then this side's got all these really cute pop-up elements. Now I think these would be cute if you were doing like an invite to have lunch with someone or just a little quick hello, um, giving them a little treat that you've made, whatever. Um, so that's the first card. I just love how sort of 3D it is and they're very very easy to make. Um, this is the next one so I kind of did mine on like um, oh yeah, they fold flat, Lori. Yeah, they're super cute. I love it. Hi, Barb. And of course, it comes with the instructions too. Um, I love the little animal one. So this one's just like a hello. Um, and again, it's got like the farmhouse, farm friends. It's really cute. I love the paper in this line. So again, it's got that 3D look. Very, very simple. It looks complicated. Like this fancy card. Oh, Linda, these are just, um, I think it comes with the envelopes in the package. These are just regular sized envelopes, um, or cards. Um, I will grab a, an envelope in a minute. Um, this one's super cute, My Roost. <laughs> and then it's got all these little cute little pieces here. Again, you can just do a little hello or an invite, like lots of reasons you can use these little cards. Hi, Lorraine. Or just like an intro to tunnel cards itself. Um, I had never used them before and I wanted to try them out so it was really fun to make them. Hi Colleen. I like this one too. I really love the patterned paper on this. There's that. Super cute. There's a little bit of extra pieces too. So it comes with a six by six pad of paper and a whole pack of embellishments. So really cute. I'll measure it in a sec, Linda. I'm not sure, but it's just a regular size card. I love the little flowers in this too. So you could give someone some flowers with this card or, you know, whatever. I love it. And then there's this one. Again, this one's more focused on baking and bakery. Um, they had some really cute punny sayings. This one says, just roll with it. Don't be afraid to take whisks. Uh, good things come to those who bake. I just love them super cute. Eat well, laugh often, and enjoy life. Don't be afraid to take whisks. That one's repeated in there. Just really cute. I love the paper on this one too. Sort of like all kitchen themed. This one says, uh, from my beautiful kitchen. Just love it. Hey, Heather. I'm assuming that's Heather. And then that's how that one looks in the inside. Super cute. So this one I did the opposite way. And again, you just need some nesting dies and uh, you just cut out two different sizes and they're very, very simple to make. Um, the instructions are in the uh, tunnel card package from Photoplay that comes with the uh, kit. And then also I've written up directions in there as well uh, that they're printed with them with all the little pieces of twine and everything. Oh, Heather says there's 10 of the kits in there. Yep. And they're in the online store. Um, I will post a link above when I'm done, but if you type in tunnel cards, it will pop up. It's about the first thing that pops up and it's $17.99 for the kit to make six cards. Really cool. Really cute. So those are those. I really love them. Oh, and I was going to measure. I don't know where my uh, envelopes are offhand. But the size of this card is five and a half by four and a quarter. It's just a regular sized um, envelope, right? Would that be the regular size? What size did you say? Um, yes, Linda, you were right. Four and a quarter by five and a half. That's right. Um, Heather, were you adding the, yes, that's what I thought. I did say that, but I wasn't sure. So the envelopes are included. Um, so 18 bucks to make six cards. That's pretty sweet. You, you pay way more than that for cards in the, in the store for one card. It's like six bucks. Um, so I wanted to show you guys a couple of projects that I worked on. I had actually meant to do a little fun, night tonight with some lawn fawn products but I'm just I wasn't it, it was a very busy weekend I've got a lot going on at work so I'm not prepared to do it tonight but I will give you a sneak peek of this one look at how cute the couch is I haven't glued this on yet 
but I was I was using the little um the bears. I can't remember what the name of that set is, but isn't this adorable? Anyways, I will do the lawn fawn with you guys either next week or the week after. I have to talk to Heather and see if there's anything else. Um, but I will I will share eventually. I'm obsessed with lawn fawn right now, and I love all the um interactive cards. Yeah, isn't that cute, Heather? I love it. I think it'd be cute too with the kitties. And I just love the little pillow. It's adorable. And I painted the background. I used um, some of the watercolor pens, which I love. And I will eventually, <laughs> I will eventually show you guys. Um, anyways, when uh, the girls and I did Ricky Palooza at Heather's at the retreat, I got quite a few projects done that I had been working on and I just have, hadn't had a chance to share. So I figure since I've, I've just been super tired and I wasn't quite prepared to do the lawn fawn thing tonight, I would show you some of the stuff I made, um, which I love. So the one thing I, I did make was this cute little album. This is four and a half by four and a half. This is a Prima mini album. Oh, there's Mabel. <laughs> this is a Prima mini album and... Um, Get down, silly. It's, um, I think $9.99 in the online store. It is adorable. So adorable. Um, this is one of the Stamperia lines of Christmas paper, which is so, so, so cute. Um, Heather, I cannot remember the name of this line of paper. <laughs> and Olivia took all my extras, so I don't have it with me to, to look at quick. Um, I'll look it up after. But anyways, I thought this was super cute. So I actually took one of the Prima sort of frames here and I've glued it on. I put some pearls in there and I just made some little embellishments. I'm not the greatest at using like the flowers or anything, but I tried. <laughs> it was a good first step. But this book is literally, it has six, six super thick pages. Um, no, I don't think, Sandra, it was Pink Christmas. I can't think of the name of it. I'll remember as soon as I sign off here I know or I'll think of it when I'm looking through here um it is so super cute so I actually kind of just made this book to be like um what's the word for it just like a picture book almost it's so cute I'm probably not going to put any um pictures in it or anything but just to have it out at Christmas I loved it this paper had the cutest little uh gingerbread houses so I cut them all out I just love them. They're so cute. I love a lot of this Tamperia Christmas paper. It was so, so, so pretty. I just love it. And so you'll see I use the paper. It kind of like spread across two sheets. So most of my pages are like a spread. And I just thought it was so pretty. Look at all those. You can't remember. Heather can't remember which one it's called either. And all the Christmas stuff is restocked. Um, I will post above. I just can't think of this. The name of it offhand. Um, it's super, super. It's not Pink Christmas. Christmas Rose? Yes, that's what it is, Corey. It's Christmas Rose. I'm pretty sure. It is so cute. I love it. Like, look at all those little globes. They're so adorable. I had a lot of fun doing this because I, it was just for fun. But I love the little album. And they are restocked. They're the mini album, the mini Prima album, and they're only $10. This isn't a kit, Irene. I'm not sure if I could do it a kit. Um, I did do a lot of fussy cutting and stuff in this one. Super cute. Like, I love the spread. Like, look at the tree and the Santa. And I love the colors. They were super adorable. I think this is fun just to look through. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure it was the Christmas rose. And then I did a little pocket here again. Um, Valerie, I did, so some of it is cut from the paper, um, but some of it I did purchase one of the packages that had a whole bunch of fussy cutting in it, and I fussy cut it out. If I find it, I might have it sitting here extra. I'll look in a second. I just can't remember if I gave it all to Olivia to play with or like the extras or, not, or what. I love, love, love this. Look at the big Santa sack. It's just so cute. I love the colors in this one. And then again, um, I couldn't like let these houses go to waste. They were so cute. I did fussy cut them all out. They're adorable. And I'm not a fan of fussy cutting, but Betty sort of got me 
and Heather has got me hooked on fussy cutting. So that's that little book. I wanted to just show you because I think the mini albums are really, really pretty, and I think you could do up a lot of really fun uh, projects with them and just have them sitting out for like whatever occasion. So they're super cute. Um, I'm just gonna look here and see if I have my extras sitting out so I can see, but I can't remember if I kept them. I think I gave them to Olivia, so it's, yeah. I'm not even going to try looking in her room because she's got stuff everywhere. <laughs> yeah, it was all cut from the paper pack. I did buy um, the wood pieces of chipboard, and I bought, yeah, Corey, you're right. It, yeah, it's Christmas rose. I bought the 8x8 uh, pack of paper, the chipboard, and I bought the package that you cut out fussy cut out all the things I'll link it above afterwards yeah I stole this ribbon from Heather's stash when I was there um actually no I lied this is Bo Bunny ribbon and it's in the store um if you go inside the store they have a whole bunch of really pretty colors um like oranges purples these pinks and it's like I think $3.99 for the pack of them and I really like them I've used them quite a bit um yeah, so that's one project I wanted to show you. The next one, I've got so many, this is so cute. I've got three, two more to show you, and I just love this. So I don't know if you've seen these. Um, these are in the, in the store as well. I'm not sure if they're in the online store posted. Yeah, Heather's big stash. <laughs> I had the privilege of pulling down all the ribbon and looking through it. <laughs> so did, I think Sandra got some too or used some. Um, these chipboard books are adorable and this is like six, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight pages, eight of these little cute t-shirts, um, in the store physically, they're like, Heather, are they $2 or a dollar? They're insanely cheap. And Olivia had been given some by Heather and I was like, oh, I want to do a birthday themed little book with those. So I took some of the, um, I think it's an Echo Park line, a birthday. Yeah, they're a dollar. A dollar. These are a dollar in the store. So you have to actually go to the store and grab these. But super, super great deal. So cute. Um, I did, like, it was a fun project because I actually had to take, like, each individual um, T-shirt and, like, sort of cut around it and... Um, so that was a little bit time consuming, but it gave me something to do and I loved it. Jennifer, you could use the mini cinch. Um, they do already come with the hole punches though. So I don't know if you'd want to do that. Um, you could use uh, the bigger um, circular binder clip or binder rings uh, to, on this as well if you wanted to. Um, I didn't punch these holes. They were already punched. So I don't know. You could use a cinch machine though. You could do a small little tiny line of them here. The cinch machine doesn't work super well when it's like a, a an angled line. I tried. I'm sure that there's ways if, if you are more patient than me to figure it out. But anyways, um, I took my crop a dial, um, which again, I like toot this tool's torn horn every time I, uh, I have a project because I absolutely love this tool. Um, it's in the online store and you don't get all of these. I have some extra eyelets in here, but you do get quite a few eyelets and the actual tool, of course, and it hole punches like butter through everything. And then of course it sets the eyelets as well. So I use these in a lot of my projects. So I put an eyelet on both sides of this, which I love. And then, like I said, I just use some birthday paper. So. I will go through this album and I made this front a uh, shaker card, which I think is super cute. Um, I used a mixture of a couple of the, let me just grab them. I love them. I'm going to have like every color. So the, the pink fresh um, shaker pieces, well, you, you don't have to use them for just shaker pieces, but these little beads, I have like every color. They're adorable. Um, 
so yeah, I used a mix of those for the shaker. Um, and then I had some embellishments that match this particular type of paper. There's a lot of birthday paper in the online store. Um, like single pieces of paper. I think I only used eight pieces for the whole book. If even, it might have even been six. But anyways, it's super cute. So I'll just show you guys. There's a little pocket here that I made. And I added some little pieces in it. I just love, love, love. I, I've been looking at this t-shirt uh, for so long. I've been waiting and waiting to make something with it. Oh yeah, Heather says they're in the mixed media area where the other um, binders are. Uh, Heather didn't have tons of them left, but they they are there and they're a dollar. So totally worth going into the store to grab some. I, of course, stole this one from Olivia. <laughs> She'll never notice. Isn't this like adorable though? It would be like the perfect little gift for somebody. I did some pop-ups here. Isn't it? I, I agree, Valerie. It's a perfect gift for somebody. Um, look at all these little tags I put in here. Like they're so cute. I just love them. A new baby, that's right. You could do it for new baby. You could do it for a lot of things. This is a little pocket too. Isn't this adorable? I just love it. And I love the paper too. But you could you could pretty much use any kind of paper for it. And I had, like I said, I had a little chipboard pack of pieces too to match this one. So I've used them up, of course. So cute. I was excited to show you guys this one. Look at the little unicorn. I was going to actually give this to my sister for her birthday. We celebrated her birthday on the weekend. She's um, just a bit younger than me. She's 33. Um, and I actually was going to go through my mom and dad's albums and take some of our birthday pictures from the years um, and add birthday pictures, you know, f of her when she was younger until now. But I didn't get that far ahead. <laughs> um Oh, yeah, you're right, Sandra. It would be good for a nurse or PSW. And there is some of that paper um, in the store that would work for that. And Gay says, new at bookmaking, do you always use a thick card? This is chipboard. Um, so this is an already cut out album. So the t-shirts are already cut out. You don't have to always use chipboard for um, your bookmaking, your homemade books. Um, the next book I'm going to show you guys that I did or the next project is made from one of the Simple Stories flip books. Um, you can use regular cardstock as well for covers, which we've done in a few tutorials. Um, kind of the sky's the limit. You can use whatever you like. But yeah, I, I do like chipboard for my covers. Oh, that'd be so cute, Chantel. Photos with messages of childhood memories. Perfect. Yeah, so Heather said the album she's doing for Thursday has no chipboard in it, just cardstock. I've done both. I've done both for sure, um, mainly because Heather's shown me the ones that uh, don't use chipboard. Otherwise, I would have probably only used chipboard myself. I just love this. I love this little book. So I had to share it with you guys. It's your year. So yeah, a dollar. A dollar in the store. So head on in <laughs> and grab one of these and a few other things. Super cute. Um... And there's lots of birthday paper, lots of tons of paper. So the last one I'm going to show you is this album, and I, I just love it. Um, yes, Jennifer's right, so you can use toilet paper rolls too. Heather did a video on that. I still haven't caught up with mine. I need to, actually. I have some paper in mind. I just haven't done it yet. Um, so one of the things that I worked on in Ricky Palooza, and so did Sandra, actually. We both did a book using the... Um, uh, oh my gosh, I just looked it up to remind myself what this one was called. Is it Crafty Love? Craft. It's a doodle. Um, my daughter loves doodle bug. Um, it's a doodle bug line, and it's the crafter one. It is amazing. So I've used actually washi tape to cover the seams, and I just love it. Um, yeah, it's doodle bug, Lori, but I can't remember the name of this line. There's still lots of it in the online store. Lots of all the little doodle pops. So I thought I would show, oh, cute and crafty. That's what it is. Thank you, Judy. <laughs> um, so yeah, yeah, Heather, I talked about Lucy Palooza 4 at the beginning. So hopefully you guys sign up. There's still spaces left. And like I said, tell your friends and you guys can all get together and do it together, which I think would be super fun.
So this is cute and crafty. I did up this uh, flip book at Ricky Palooza with the girls. Uh, Sandra and I both did a flip book. So I thought I would just share it with you. Um, Mabel, seriously. Um, I did this super cute shaker piece on the front. And just so you guys know, like I use the plastic that the kit came in to make this shaker piece. So you can use all of the pieces in your packages. Um, I've even used the like cardboard piece that, it, that has a picture of everything that comes in your pack. Um, you can use that again um, as a base for another project or whatever. I just love the colors in this guy, so cute. My daughter loves doodle bugs so much that she asked us, well, she asked Heather for a doodle bug cake for her birthday. This is so cute. I absolutely love this. Oh, you tried to order the jewels last night and they didn't come up. Are you talking about something that Dan showed last night, Kelly? So cute. So I'm just going to go through this book and show you guys. And I will post. You can't order the shirt books online, Linda. You have to actually go into the store. Um, they're only in the store physically. Okay. Yeah, she's she's getting a special doodlebug cake. Olivia's so spoiled or pampered, I guess you could say. Um, this line is so adorable. I love it. Oh, Heather says there's more of the gems coming in by the end of the week. I think this book is so cute. I'm going to add some of the pictures from Ricky Palooza in here. So cute. And there's some flip ups. These books are really fun. I find the, the uh, Simple Stories flip books really relaxing. Um, these six by eight ones are about, they're less than $10. And I always have lots of extra um, page protectors around, but they do come with page protectors in them. And I find it just relaxing to just fill them up and just do whatever. And I've noticed myself too, on almost all of my projects lately, I actually, before I never used to do the photo mats and have them ready, but I find myself doing that now and I find it really makes your project look finished. So I've, I've been doing this a lot. Sandra gave me this tip to do this little cute pop out. Isn't that really cute? It's a little pocket. I can't wait to add some pictures of us when we've done some events together. Can't remember what opens up and what doesn't here. This whole line is still available. There's still kits available. Like look at this little doodle pop here. So cute. And all these little stickers. I just love them. I'll post a link above. This one was one of my favorites so far. I have all the baking pieces too that I still have to make a little album with. I just haven't haven't gotten around to it. That was a good thing about Ricky Palooza for us. I had an opportunity to just catch up on some mindless crafting. I think this one's, oh, this is a flip out. So super cute. Oh, and this has a little pocket here. Look at these little doodle pops. I just love them. So does Olivia. <laughs> she says, Mama, can I have a doodle pop birthday? A doodle bug doodle pop birthday. I love this piece too, because it has like all the candy that you would have when you're crafting. So adorable. And look at the little stand. <laughs> so, so cute there and then the last page just has some of these little journal elements so cute I try to use most of the pieces up so Sandra and I had like went through and Olivia had this like massive pack of extras that neither of us were going to use that she was kind of crafting with so super fun and again the washi tape I don't usually use washi tape but I totally um love the way I used it in this little uh, flip book because otherwise I wouldn't have used it. I should, you guys should inspire me with some washi tape projects because honestly I have a lot of washi tape but it just sits there. Uh, Linda, Olivia's birthday is on November 27th so it's in three and a half weeks, four weeks. She is turning eight years old and she is full of sass, <laughs> that girl. Yeah, so I think, let me just look. I think that's all I was going to show you. Yeah. I think that's all. 
I don't know if I ended up showing you guys my finished Stamperia book. Let me just look. Oh, that's your birthday too, Lori? That's awesome. Did I show you guys my finished Stamperia book? I can't remember. If I, if I didn't, I'll show you now quick. It won't take me long. That's so funny, Sylvie. Olivia goes there and she looks at all the doodle pops and she's like, Mama, can I have this? Can I have this? Can I have this? It's so funny. Oh, I'm glad, Sandra. Now I'll get to use washi. I didn't, okay. I know I like started doing this, but I couldn't remember if I finished and I showed you guys the finished one. Um, you're sassy too, Lori. <laughs> That's so funny. Um, so this is my completed... Stamperia album with the Patchwork Christmas and um, this is also one of the uh, albums that's available in the online store and I really like it so of course I did a sh Ooh, shoot there goes all my pieces from inside I'll put those in after um, so I did a shaker in the front and that's with let me grab it It's with one of these new sparklets. It's $3.99 and it's the Avalanche one. It's so pretty. I love the colors. Perfect for Christmas. Um, I really loved it. I really love the colors in this album, period. And I love, love the poinsettias. Oh yes, Heather says this paper's back in. So that's good. I'm glad I'm showing you. And I know I showed you when I was first doing this, but I have the chipboard, but then also got the, um, um, I don't know if they're called plastic pieces. That doesn't sound right. But the um, little pieces that are the um, plastic, not just the chipboard. And they're so nice. They're so nice. I love them. So this here, I made this little pop out and I filled it with all of these little matted, oh, clear die cuts. <laughs> Thank you, Heather. Um, I filled it with all of these little matted pieces. Whoops which are super cute. And I had a lot of extras too. I brought Betty some extras that I wasn't gonna use. Oh, that's my Lawn Fawn car that I just picked up. So it's super, super cute. Wait till you see inside, it's so nice. I love it. Too bad these fell out and they're all upside down. Oops. The colors in the Christmas patchwork are so pretty. I just love them. And again, this is just from the top of my head. I just kind of filled it up. I might give this as a Christmas gift, actually. Um, I'm not sure yet. And that's, again, one of those uh, clear die cuts. They're really, really nice. I really love them. I'm surprised. Look at all the colors in that. So again, this is, paper is so pretty that I didn't actually add um, matted photo mats on every piece because the paper itself was so beautiful that I just couldn't cover it up. So you'll see that some of these are quite plain and I did add um, pieces to cover up in between all of my layers of paper. Now this is, I think this is the Waterfall Prima album and I think it's about $20 around that. It's a really great deal and it's a really nice album. So pretty. I love the colors too. And I did use, um, I did ink the edges with cracked pistachio, which is one of my favorite Tim Holtz colors. Oh, I should show you guys too something I did with the new Tim Holtz color. So pretty. I love the teals in this. I totally forgot. Like this reminds me of like grandma's quilt or something. It's so nice. I know I am a good girl for doing inking. <laughs> I have been doing it a lot lately, actually. This paper is so nice. There, that's it. So that's that album. I thought it was just so pretty. Um, it was really fun to make too and really simple. Uh, for those of you who might not remember, this is magnetized, so it comes with the magnet already embedded in it, so um, you don't have to have any enclosure. And I did add a little bulldog clip with some charms at the side of it. Um, yeah, this charm pack is in the online it's store. It has four other charms with it, like Christmas charms. Um, 
I'm pretty sure it's in the online store. There might not be that many left, though, if there is even any left. Oh, thank you, Valerie. I appreciate that comment. <laughs> it's really nice, isn't it? It's the paper. The Stamperia paper is just beautiful. Like, I, this one, too, like, is just... I was looking at the Christmas papers again, and I was like, oh, I can't not. And it's this this paper that just... Oh, I just had to get it. It was so nice. Um, for those of you who follow Tim Holtz, the new color... I'm going to say this wrong. Is it Villainous poison what is it called heather could add the new christmas charm dangle we just added oh i never even see i missed last night's live so i don't know what's new i'm just gonna grab the new the new tim holtz color is the small album irene is four and a half by four and a half it's so cute um i'll just quickly show you guys because i just finished this is um Villainous Potion. I might have said poison. Anyways, this is the new Distress Oxide color by Tim Holtz. It's so cool, but I thought since uh, I uh, Halloween was yesterday and I'm not getting the Lawn Fawn uh, class done tonight like I anticipated, I will show you what I made with this color because it's so nice. Um, this Christmas album here, Sandra, um, this I made myself. It's not a kit. Um, it is with the Stamperia Christmas Patchwork line. And I have used quite a few of the pieces of that line in this album. But the album itself, I believe, is called The Waterfall something. I will post it above afterwards. It's a Prima album. It's about $10 or $20. Um, I did make this little insert here um, just because I wanted a little extra to fold some papers in. Um, let me see if I missed another. Is that Christmas paper a package? So Dale, this Christmas rose paper is all is a package with Stamperia, and so is the Christmas patchwork. Um, and I'll post them both above. You can get the papers for both. Um, okay, let me grab that card. I will get to the lawn fawn one day. Um, this is one of the cards I made with the lawn fawn stamps. It's so cute. And look at I was in a hurry. I I put it on upside down, so I'm going to have to cut that and reapply. Um, but this is with the Villainous Potion. It's so nice. Um, at first, I thought it would be really similar to Wilted Violet, but it's not. It's like a really deep hue of purple, and I really loved it. Um, so I made this one with, of course, I have all the oxides. So um, I made this background with the Black Soot, then the Villainous Potion, and then I used uh, Twisted Citron and I uh, distressed the page a little, and then I took some brick um, stencils, washed it with water, applied it, wiped it off, and it kind of gave that brick look. And then, I don't know if you can see the little polka dots there, um, they're actually the new glow-in-the-dark um, lawn fawn paste. It is so cool for Halloween, like honestly, and other things. Like, I think there's some Stargazer lawn fawn stamp sets that would be super cute with the, um, uh, glow in the dark paste as well. I'm sorry, I'm getting distracted because Finn is getting into something over here. He's literally in a bag on the table. Yeah, isn't it cute? I just love the little kitties. So I had I had to do kitties, of course. So fun. I think that's all I have to show you guys tonight. Oh, <laughs> sorry guys. Oh, I don't know if you heard that, but Finn just fell off the table in the bag. I actually think they're both in the bag. <laughs> I can try turning the lights out. I don't know if you'll see it, but I'll try. Yeah, I don't think you can see it that well in here. But you can see like the sparkles. Um No, you can't really see. It's hard to show. I'll turn the lights back on. I think, too, it has to kind of be set off by light. Oh, could you see them? <laughs> My glasses are terrible. Oh, these have been, these projects have been over a little bit, Lori. <laughs> I just haven't had a chance to share them. But yeah, this glow-in-the-dark paste is super cool. I think it's $10. I can't remember. Um, but you could use them. Um, 
you could use it for a lot of different things. Um, I have a couple of ideas. Yeah, I saw the twinkles. I don't know if you could see them glowing so much, but yeah, they're super fun. I love them. But yeah, the Villainous po uh, Potion is really, it's a nice color. I really like it. I think that's all. I'm just looking. I think that's all. I really love the t-shirt. It's probably one of my favorite ones I've made in the last while. So definitely pop by the store and grab one of those. Um, and yeah, I'll post a link to the my tunnel card kit. That was the purpose of tonight's video to show you guys the tunnel cards. Um, but anyways, you guys have a great night. I will catch up with you next Monday. Uh, Sandra will be on on Wednesday and I hope you have a, oh, show, show you Finn. I don't know where Finn is. Hang on. Let me see if I can find him. He's hiding now because he just fell out of the bag. Whoops. I had to find some kitty treats to find him. He's hiding because he was he was scared. I don't know if he'll let me lift him upside down. He's so cute. Oh, show your face. Look at his little mustache. It's adorable. He's so good. Anyways, you guys have a great rest of the week, and I will catch up with you next week. Oh, yes, that card kit is available for purchase right now, and I will post it above. Um, it's in the online store. If you wanted to write in tunnel cards, it'll pop up. It's $17.99, but I will post a link above. Yeah, isn't he cute? He's adorable. All right, you guys, have a great week, and I will touch base with you next week.